dark in here. So I'm on my way to get some iced tea from Starbucks. Starbucks isn't my favorite place to get coffee. I definitely prefer to go more local. I think Starbucks coffee actually like, tastes pretty burnt. I think that they roast the hell out of their beans and their coffee, and uh, it's not the greatest coffee, but I just love their refreshers, so I'm gonna go get uh, one of their strawberry refreshers. But, you know, I was thinking um, earlier today, my husband and I were talking about this the other day, about how fear really, really holds people back from trying new things, and that, so many of our members, only after, of course, starting with us, they wanted to try us for like several months. They wanted to try CrossFit or try our body program or lift weights months before they actually did it. And those months of just like contemplating and letting like their insecurities and their fears and like, you know, just kind of letting the the unknown of it all like hold them back from starting it's such a shame and i think that once people actually come through our doors and try crossfit and try our body program they're like oh it's not so scary you're not a bunch of monsters that are gonna laugh at me because i'm not lifting a bunch of weights on the first day or i don't know what i'm doing it's not like that but you know CrossFit aside and, and our program aside, I think that so many adults get comfortable not trying anything new. And it's when you get out of that comfort zone and doing things that you're not sure of, that you're not great at, that's what stimulates growth. And that challenge, putting yourself out there, doing something that you're not completely comfortable with, that you're not good at or familiar with, is so good for you. And I think that, you know, that's why we experience such growth when we're younger, because everything's new to us. Everything is foreign. You know, we're just kind of fumbling through life, acquiring new skills, being put in different situations, learning how to cope with, with challenges and stressors. And as we become adults, we tend to avoid those situations. But if we keep challenging ourselves, keep trying new things, keep putting ourselves out there in situations where we're not necessarily in control, we don't know everything about it, we're not good at it, you know, that's what stimulates growth and that's what keeps us young and challenged and it keeps us engaged in our life and I think that it's good to have a little bit of stress in those you know in that type of way I think it's good to be nervous about like I still get nervous about workouts in my own gym in classes with my own members I still get like butterflies before the clock starts and I think that is such a good thing to have I love that feeling you will mess up and you will fumble and you'll have roadblocks and challenges, but it's your adaptability and, um, you know, more of your character that will push you through. You don't necessarily have to be good at things. And I think that's another big mistake that people assume about successful people is, you know, a lot of the successful people that you guys look up to, I look up to, um, they're not that much smarter than you, right? They're not more successful because they have more money or more resources or more time in their day. They just stick with things and stick with problems longer than most people. They have mental grit. They stick with their commitments and they do the stuff necessary when they don't feel like doing it. I think a lot of us, the moment we get challenged or have a hiccup or things don't go completely as we plan, we quit. You know, we throw our hands up and we stop moving forward and we see that roadblock as, you know, just, all right, I've got to quit and start again. And really, it's just a, a hump. You just have to figure out a way to get over it. Um, but I think that's one of the most cool things about our programs at Elevate and, you know, CrossFit in general and, and strength training in general. I think that for a lot of people, it's uncomfortable because they're unfamiliar with it. They're not sure. And I think that continuing to challenge yourself in that way as an adult to do new things, to try things that you're not great at, um, I think you need to do it. Like if there's something that you've been wanting to do and wanting to try for months, what? just do it, just try it. And if it's a total disaster, and don't like it, fine. At least you can say you tried it, but don't live with that fear and let that dictate. I think fear is probably one of the biggest things that keeps people from like moving forward and fear of failure, fear of looking bad, fear of, you know, 
not achieving whatever it is that you have in mind, I think it all keeps a lot of people back. I mean, I'm guilty of it. I still have a lot of that, but I, I try to force myself to work through it. Um, but oh, just try new things. Just do it. You can't let that stuff, you know, fear from not knowing exactly what to expect hold you back. You just you have to try new things. It keeps you alive. It keeps you young. I don't know. I think it's good for you. What is this? <laughs> Didn't, was it, isn't the strawberry refresher just strawberry? Why is it pink? She gave me there. Oh, that is so sweet. Damn it. God, I get the refresher because it's a little sweet. But it doesn't have a ton of sugar. I don't know what the hell this pink thing is. God damn it, Starbucks. Now I have to drink it. I'll look up the macros later. I don't know what this is. So we're about to go to the gym, right? Where are we going? Um, to the gym. What's the name of our gym? Elevate. Elevate. And let's see, it's Thursday. So what I you're not gonna see on this video is the endurance workout that I did this morning. Yeah. It was uh, for time, row 3,000 meters, 200 double unders. Row 2,000 meters, 150 double unders. And then row a thousand meters, a hundred double unders. That sucked by myself, but I did that, knocked it out, cleaned the gym today. So I've just been really active on my feet, but I didn't get to lift and I missed Monday's workout. So we are heading into the gym. I'm gonna do more of like a bodybuilding type of day, hit some accessory lifts, strength stuff, hypertrophy focused, like rep schemes. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. And uh, we'll check in with you when we get there. Provide it. 